Hello again, Hearthstone fans, and welcome to an episode of The Curve, presented by T-Mobile, where we bring you the latest Grandmasters news on Curve. The third and final week of Swiss saw our competitors take on a brand new 10 deck format. They banned what they felt were the six best classes, which allowed us to see some of the lesser played heroes in the current metagame. Paladin and Shaman got their first real day in the sun this season, as players had to think creatively. We did, however, see some of the main archetypes appear. Murloc and Highlander for Paladin, Totem and Galakrond Evolve for Shaman, and a plethora of spell druid builds. In the European region, we had Frenchman Swids take his second victory, becoming the only player across all regions who managed to win multiple Swiss weeks. Meanwhile, in Asia Pacific, we got to see Glory show off his consistency by falling up his second place last week with a first place finish this week. This incredible performance boosted his points high enough to dethrone Surrender, who had a rough final week, only finishing 10th. Finally, in the Americas region, after a 14th and 8th place finish the previous two weeks, now Godan managed to recover and finish first place, putting aside doubts he had himself about his own skills. This ended up leading to an impressive combined result for the Latam players, with both Naugadan and Empanizado making it into Division A. The divisions now decided the players prepare themselves for the final stage of Grandmasters. For those managing to make it into Division A, the goal is to push to the top and ensure they have a guaranteed playoff spot by the end of the four week round robin. For those in Division B, the pressure intensifies further. The bottom two performers after the four weeks will face relegation. It's time for the players to put their Swiss results behind them and fire on all cylinders if they want to keep their title and spot as a Hearthstone Grandmaster. As always, make sure to check out playhearthstone.com forward slash esports to catch up on any news or matches you may have missed this week. But from us here at The Curve, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time in the tavern.